In this example, we look at another case of using u substitution to turn a non-rational function into a rational function. Um, and this is a helpful technique in particular on cases where I have um, some sort of root here. Here I have this uh, integral of the square root of 1 plus root x all over x. Okay, so let's see how this is going to go here. So the helpful u substitution for something like this example would be to let u be this crazy root thing of the square root of 1 plus root x, okay, and figure out what our du is. So notice that this square root is um, really raising 1 plus root x to the 1 half. So I have 1 half 1 plus root x to the negative 1 half. I've got to use the chain rule now, so times the derivative of root x. So that would be um, 1 half x to the negative 1 half for 1 over 2 root x dx. Okay, so it's not clear that this is going to be helpful right away. So let's think about what we can do with this next. Um, notice that I have a way I'm going to replace my um, numerator here. That'll be u. I need to figure out what x is in terms of u, and I need to also um, get my dx. So notice I can take what I have here on the um, right-hand side with my du and simplify it a little bit. Um, this will be 1 over 4 root x, the square root of 1 plus root x, okay, dx. So this gives me 4 root x, the square root of 1 plus root x, du equals dx. Okay, so what I'd like is to be able to write all of these pieces here in terms of u. Okay, so what else do we notice here? Well, if u is equal to this um, square root, then u squared is equal to 1 plus root x. Okay, so in fact I can write root x as u squared minus 1. Okay, so notice that allows me to write what I have here. This 4 root x is 4 times u squared minus 1, and this square root of 1 plus root x as u. Okay, so we've seen some um, simpler examples of doing something like this. This is a case where you're doing a u substitution, but you not only want to get u in terms of x, but you also try to get x in terms of u um, to rewrite your integral. So notice that also I can say that x here is equal to u squared minus 1 squared. Okay, so with all of these pieces that I have here, um, in terms of my u's, I can now rewrite this integral as an integral of u times my dx here, which is 4 u squared minus 1 u du. And this will be all over my x here, which is u squared minus 1 squared. Okay, so notice I can get some simplification out of this. I have 4u squared in the numerator, but I also have this u squared minus 1 divided by u squared minus 1 squared, so that becomes just u squared minus 1 in the denominator. So now I have a nice rational function. Okay, so now we have a rational function. So is it a proper rational function? Well, the degree of the um, numerator here is 2, and the degree of the denominator is 2. So this is not proper. Okay. So if I'd like to try to use partial fraction decomposition on it, I need to use long division here first. Now I can factor out that 4, but then I can do u squared divided by u squared minus 1. Okay. So I'm going to have u squared divided by u squared minus 1. u squared minus 1 goes in 1 time, so times u squared minus 1. Notice that the, excuse me, this gives me a remainder of 1, so I can see that u squared over u squared minus 1 is equal to 1 plus 1 over u squared minus 1. Okay, so what do we have here? So we have our 4 times now the integral of 1 plus 1 over u squared minus 1. 
Okay, well for the one over u squared minus one piece, try to separate some of the, these different types of work here. Um, I have several options. I could choose to do a trig substitution on that, but it's probably a little bit easier to go ahead and factor that. I have one over u minus one, u plus one. So that would give me, um, with two simple linear terms there, the form would be a over u minus one plus b over u plus one. So we can clear fractions and solve for our a and b. So this is one equals a times u plus one plus b times u minus one. So if we plug in u equals one, I would have one equals two a or a equals a half. And if we plug in u equals negative one, we would have one equals negative two b. So I would have um, b equals negative one half. Okay, so using this, I have four times the integral here of one plus my a over u minus one, so that's one half over u minus one, plus b over u plus one, so that's a negative one half over u plus one. Okay, so we turned that pretty crazy root type thing we had in the beginning, the square root of one plus root x over x, into the integral of um, this nice thing in terms of a, a sum of these simpler rational functions. So I have four times u plus one half log u minus one, minus one half log of u plus one, and we have plus c. So the last step is just to put this back in terms of x. So remember, our u was equal to um, the square root of one plus root x. So we have four here times the square root of one plus root x plus one half log of the square root of one plus root x minus one minus one half log the square root of one plus root x plus one. And we have all of that plus c. Okay, so this is equal to our original integral of the square root of one plus root x all over x dx. So we wanna keep this variation on the technique in mind whenever we see integrals that look similar to this form.